good day and welcome to our video for today and uh, what we'll be talking about today is how to measure cable in a cable reel or cable drum easily uh, just as you may have seen in your picture already if you have uh, this much cable in your cable reel it may be difficult to try to attempt to measure with a tape measure and uh, sometimes you really want to know how much cable do you have left in your cable reel uh, it could be that you want to sell it off and you want to know how much you have or you have some jobs to do and you want to make sure before you start up a job do you have enough cable for this job if you have ever been in that kind of situation then this video is for you now the information i'll be sharing a uh, part of them is uh, uh, from the uh, on-site guide and uh, this on-site guide is the one uh, to the bs and c71 this is the latest edition and there's a lot of good content in this uh, on-site guide but today I'll be uh, talking about the appendix I in table uh, I1 and this table what you actually have in this chart is uh, values of resistance per meter or what we know as R1, R2 per meter for copper and aluminum conductors at 20 degrees Celsius what actually do we have in this chart we have the cross-sectional area we have the uh, Line conductor, which is also known as the R1, in case you wonder what R1 is, and we also have the protective conductor, which is also known as R2, and also we have a resistance per meter or R1 R2 per meter for all these conductor we have in this chart, and the uh, uh, resistance is the one we have in this chart is in milli ohms per meter. So actually. How are we going to use these charts to know how long our cables are? Well, it's uh, pretty simple. Just follow me along in this video. So, what we're going to be doing first is say we have an example. We have a uh, 2.5 cables in the cable reel, and in this, uh, as you can see in this chart already, uh, the part that I already put red uh, is a 2.5, and the protective conductor also is 2.5. The uh, resistance per meter for this uh, cable when it comes to copper conductor is 14.82 milliohms. So, how will this help us? So, let's uh, set an example. Uh, I believe this example will be able to help you to get it more clearly. Example we say we measure for R1, R2 of a conductor which is a literally line conductor and protective conductor so you may drop between the two and uh, if you want to do this uh, what you need to do is just to connect the two ends of the cable which usually is to stick out in the middle of a cable rail yeah if you have a very big cable rail uh, the end will stick out in the middle so you can uh, strip this part off and uh, connect the R1 and R2 line and conductor together make sure you have a very good connection while doing this and you go to the end to the other end of the cable and you carry your tester go make sure this uh, you're using a very good tester here a tester that can test uh, for resistance as some call it continuity but uh, what you're actually testing in this case is uh, resistance yeah any test that can test for resistance will be good for this job so in this our example so we'll test for r1 r2 for this our 2.5 cable and for an instance, so we have 0 0.52 ohms as our result. What do we need to do? Well, depending on the kind of a tester you use, some uh, tester will bring your uh, readings in milli ohms. But in this my case, my tester uh, shows me my reading usually in uh, ohms. So if your tester is just like mine, you need to convert your result from ohms to milli ohms. You know, in the chart, what we have in the chart is. Uh, the readings which uh, the, the value we have is all in milliohms per meter. So, if you need to convert your readings to milliohm, this is what you need to do 0 0.52, just as it, as it is in this case, multiply by 1000, whatever your value is, as long as you need to convert it to milliohm, you just need to multiply by 1000, and in this case, we have 520 milliohm, and that is our value. Now, what do we need to do with this? We need to divide your salt by the value corresponding to your cable size in the chart. In this other example, what is the value corresponding to 2.5 cable line conductor, 2.5 uh, uh, conductor when tested against each other to, uh, with each other in uh, resistance testing? We have a uh, 14.82. 
Now, what you do is uh, literally 520 divided by 14.82, you have uh, 35, and you have some uh, other uh, values. We just need to, we just need to do is to approximate, and this is our case. We have a uh, 35 meters, and it's just as simple as that. 45 meters, and sometimes uh, this process might not be so clear to you. Or you just need to come back to the video, watch the video again, and it should be very clear. You will be able to understand it better. So thank you. Uh, we expect you to, to stay tuned and enjoy our next video.